you spend a lot of time and money to get users to install your app, but are you making sure they have a good experience? First impressions matter, and engaging users within the first few interactions goes a long way in increasing lifetime value. Let's look at how to send an onboarding message for your new users. From the dashboard, go over to the menu, go to campaigns, and select create campaign. For the purpose of this video, we'll just create a general push campaign. Select the team that the campaign will be visible to and give your campaign a name. We'll just call it onboarding and send it to all of our Android users. Now, this is where you get to define the target audience the campaign needs to be sent out to. So, we'll say everyone who's installed your app at least once within the last three days. You can add additional filters. So anyone who has not yet executed, sign up. You can even exclude a certain subset of your user group. So let's exclude anyone who's made a purchase within the last three days. Now on the next screen, you get to select the message and the look and feel of your campaign. Since it's an onboarding campaign, let's just say welcome aboard. Now, to add a sense of urgency, we'll give users a 48-hour deadline. And let's say we give them a 20% discount in case they sign up within the next 48 hours. Perfect. Now, in order to make your message more compelling, you can add a coupon code or an image or a sound. You can even include a call to action for the message. When someone clicks on your message, you can either have them navigate to a specific screen or to a deep link within your app or to a rich landing page. We'll just select a random screen for the purpose of this video. Now, this is where you select when the campaign needs to go out and what the goals for the campaign need to be. So, you can send the campaign out at a specific date and time. You can send it out immediately as soon as you launch the campaign. Or you can have it sent on a recurring periodic basis. Let's just select this option and have the campaign sent out at 6 p.m. based on the recipient's time zones once every seven days now if you're running a flash sale campaign you can have it expire on a specific date uh, but for this campaign we'll set it to never expire unless we manually stop it now the first goal for this campaign would obviously be sign up you can set additional goals like a product added to cart or order successful. So the analytics for this campaign will give you a funnel view of how many of the message recipients signed up, out of them how many added a product to cart and how many uh, completed the purchase successfully. Now these are some advanced settings which we'll go into in future videos. Before sending out the campaign you can send out a test message to either yourself or someone from your team to see what the campaign would look like. I'll just go ahead and create this campaign. Perfect. So your campaign has been launched and you can see all the details pertaining to your campaign right here. You can see what the campaign message is and get a sense of what it looks like. And up here under analytics, 
you'll be able to see how your campaign is performing the impressions click throughs conversions and conversion events so that's how you can create a general push campaign to onboard your new users we'll be back soon with more videos to help you make the most of more engaged subscribe to stay updated goodbye